As we know, lead is a potent, deadly neurotoxin. It accumulates in teeth and bones. It causes irreversible behavioral and learning problems, especially in younger children, including lower IQ, hyperactivity, slowed growth, hearing problems, hypertension, and anemia. And in fact, it's been estimated that keeping lead out of kids' bodies and brains would save more than 20 million total IQ points among U.S. children, plus billions of dollars in annual costs associated with lead exposure, and establish an updated standard that's more health protective than the old state mandate. And that brings us in line with both Prince George's and D.C., which both have lower action levels than the state of Maryland has. And finally, this is the first standard for Montgomery County, separate from the state standard, and we needed this law in place to affect MCPS, but the same children that use the fountains in our schools, like my son Sam here, um, <laughs> also drink the water in our rec centers and in our libraries and our parks. So I want you all to know today, I've asked our libraries and our rec department and our parks to conduct, co to conduct cost estimates for testing and remediation in accordance with the new county standard that's in this bill. Montgomery Parks has already tested and remediated their fountains that came in above the new level. DGS has already conducted, conducted testing in the libraries and the rec centers, and they have begun replacement of the fountains that showed the highest lead levels. So the whole county is on the right track. We're setting an example for other counties on how to take action on the new data that they're getting for their public schools. Um, and that's exactly what, what we should be doing here in Montgomery County. We send our kids to school to learn and to grow and to develop their brains and not to damage them. Um, so especially now when we're laser focused on academic achievement and on achieving racial equity and social justice, there's no better investment in the future of Montgomery County than getting the lead out of our drinking water.